a very interesting uh, first time the European political community um, and it was a big success. I think it was telling because there were 44 countries, European countries, Russia was excluded, it shows the isolation of Russia and Ukraine was joining. The Prime Minister was here, President Zelensky was with us with um, a video and today he will be with us in video too. So it shows that we are standing by Ukraine as long as it takes. Of course, the Russian war has an impact on the global economy and we're going to discuss that today too, uh, mainly through the energy prices and uh, the energy scarcity. Um, energy prices are skyrocketing, but if you look over the last seven months, you can see that Russia has deliberately and systematically cut the gas supply to the European Union. But we've been able to compensate. We've been able to compensate. We've filled our storages by 90%. This is very good. We have been able to attract LNG and pipeline gas from reliable suppliers like Norway and the United States. And we've been able um, to take the windfall profits to um, support those who are in need. Now we are well prepared. We have a first line of protection for our market. Uh, now it is time to discuss how we can limit the peaks in uh, the energy prices and the manipulation of energy prices by Putin. And this will be the discussion about price caps. The question where to put them and how to put them will be uh, one of the uh, points today in the discussion. A second point that is important is the single market and the level playing field so that all businesses have a the same uh, opportunity to participate in the single market. They can compete through quality, but not through subsidies. And therefore today we will discuss the question of um, repower, the governance structure, how we can boost it so that member states can support the investments for the business sector or the industry and households to do the transition in this energy crisis. So a packed program. There will be no uh, decisions today. It's an informal council, but of course it is the preparation for the formal council at the end of October. So what uh, has uh, improved over the last month is I have proposed in the March communication already uh, the discussion about a wholesale cap. At that time it did not uh, get traction, but now we are better prepared, the situation has evolved and therefore member states are willing to discuss now the price caps. Um, as I said, the where and the how uh, will be discussed, so I'm confident that we will come to a good conclusion. Um, we will discuss the different forms today. As I said, this is a first step. Uh, important is that it is building the ramp for the council then at the end of October.